Hello and welcome to Noor Flavors of Ramadan Season 4 powered by Luna. My name is Gaurav. Naam to suna hoga. Now there's a beautiful saying that the Moroccans believe in. They say that food for the body is not enough. There must be food for the soul. And when the Moroccans say something like this, it's completely believable because unka khana itna simple hota hai, lekin unki recipes badi hi soulful hoti hain. Now, you know, one of the most popular ingredients from Morocco is the couscous. Now, couscous is actually a Berber dish and it's a combination of two Berber words which actually mean well-formed, well-rolled and rounded. अब जब मोरोको की बात निकली है तो दूर तलक जाएगी चलिए आपको मोरोको के बारे में कुछ और इंटरेस्टिंग चीजें बताते हैं मोरोको इज अ कंट्री रिच इन हिस्ट्री ट्रेडिशन एंड कल्चर मोस्ट ऑफ विच इज टाइड टू इट्स ऑफिशियल रिलीजन ऑफ इस्लाम Many of the customs, laws and practices within Islam widely influence the people and the culture of Morocco today. Moroccan cuisine is the culinary star of North Africa. Located on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea, the country is rich in seafood. The Moroccan national dish is the tagine, a lamb or poultry stew known for its distinctive flavoring which comes from various spices. The street food of this place is popular amongst the people. In Morocco, iftar and iftar are Arabic words for breakfast, which also denote the evening meal taken to break a religious fast during the month of Ramadan. The people of Morocco are kind, warm and well known around the world for their hospitality. Ab Moroccan khana dekh ke mere muh mein to pani aa chuka hai. Ab to mujhe kuch Moroccan hi chahiye. Isi ke liye bulate hain chef Abs ko aur dekhte hain ki inke pithare mein aaj kya nikalta hai. Welcome to Flavors of Ramadan. And today I'm going to bring recipes from the rich desert of Morocco. On today's menu we have salt custard Marrakesh sea bream and couscous berry halwa. So let's bring our ingredients to make the recipes. First recipe I'm making is salt crusted Marrakesh sea bream. The word Marrakesh comes from the Babur phrase Marrakush means the land of God. So from the land of God to the land of food, let's start our first recipe. So I'm going to take fish. You can choose any fish you want, but try to keep it smaller. Don't have to be too big. Any fish between 800 to 1 kg is more than enough. Here I have two beautiful fish. One is black sea bream and I'm going to use red mullet. I'm just going to take a knife, score them, and I'm going to stuff them with some lemon and herbs. Again, the fish belly is quite thick, so I'm just going to score deep on the bone, so it's going to take less time. Same with sea bream. Whenever I cook fish, I always make sure that if it's whole fish, I stuff them with some slices of lemon. Now lemon, what it does, it start cooking the fish before I start baking it. Now we need masala. Little bit of turmeric, cumin, chili, pinch of cinnamon some coriander powder, some white pepper, and I'm gonna also add kalonji seeds. The rock salt, and we will add oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. Gonna mix it nicely. So this is our masala spicy mix is ready. Jo hum 
फिश के ऊपर पोर करेंगे नाइसली स्प्रेड विद माई हैंड ऑल फिश गेट कोटेड विद स्पाइसिस हम उन्होंने एक रॉक सॉल्ट या तो इसे आप खड़ा नमक भी कह सकते हैं तो हम रॉक सॉल्ट को लेके उसे एग व्हाइट में मिक्स करेंगे तो फर्स्ट आई एम गोना ब्रेक एग एंड रिमूव एग योक ये एग व्हाइट जो है इसे हम हल्के से बीट करेंगे स्पून के साथ इसे अच्छे से मिक्स कर दिया यहां पे हम डालेंगे सॉल्ट मिक्स इट अगेन अब ये सॉल्ट जो है हमने एग व्हाइट के साथ इसलिए मिक्स किया सो व्हेन आई एम गोना कोट द सॉल्ट विद फिश फर्स्ट थिंग इसका जो सॉल्ट है वो फिश में नहीं जाएगा एंड सेकंड थिंग एज सुन एज आई पुट इन अवन इज स्टार्ट कोटिंग फिश एंड इज गोना गिव अ क्रस्ट सो दिस इज रेडी नेक्स्ट एज वी गोना टेक द फिश हमें उसके लिए चाहिए फर्स्ट क्लॉथ आप कोई भी पतला सा कॉटन क्लॉथ लीजिए जिस ओपन इट फर्स्ट हम इस पे सॉल्ट डालेंगे जैसे कि आप यहां देख सकते हैं कि मैंने जो क्लॉथ लिया है इट इज नॉट बिग इज कॉट अ स्मॉल विथ बिकॉज जब मैं फिश को रैप करूंगा आप देख सकते हैं जब मैं रैप करूंगा तब उसका जो फेस है वो बाहर आएगा और टेल विल ऑल्सो कम आउट This is also a nice method of preserving this fish. Okay, so when you cook it, it's going to be like in a coating crust, so it's nicely preserved the fish also. So that's my first fish ready for the nice crust. First fish is ready, so I'm going to make the second one same. Usi tarah se salt lijiye. second fish is also ready so let's put this first in oven fish humne rakh di oven mein it was preheated for 210 degree temperature is going to cook another half an hour to chaliye fish ke liye ek stew banate hai now this vegetable stew is going to be with some artichoke these can artichokes are available in market easily so ye jo artichoke hai inko main just half cut karta hu i need red onion which i'm going to roughly slice i need crushed garlic now i've just kept the pan on a slow heat i'm going to add little bit of oil in that one So I'm going to take this crushed garlic, mince it a little bit, and I'm going to add in oil. As the oil start cracking, you know that. I'm going to use these onions, slice onion. Just put them in a the pan. Red chili, nice spiciness, and also this will add color to my dish. One chili is enough. takes time roughly mince it thyme and artichoke really go well with each other okay, this is something that good combination artichokes got very earthy rusty flavor and these herb just bring out that all flavors out i'm going to add some artichoke there 
little bit of lupin beans, bit of broad beans. They are close to edamame beans. You can add green beans also, a little bit of white pepper. Gonna add some sea salt. And of course, squeeze of lemon. I'm gonna add potatoes. These are potatoes I have boiled boil karke rakh diye hai. These are baby potatoes, just boiled. Now, this is stock, nahi hai, water, nahi hai, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter. Just give it a little creaminess. Nicely toss it, mix it together. Stew is ready. Next thing I'm gonna make is couscous berry halwa, but after the break. Welcome back. As promised earlier, I have an interesting dessert recipe. So let's get started. So we're gonna keep water here, let it boil. In that one, I'm gonna add saffron. Halka sa saffron dal lijiye. Usme add karenge sugar. So what I'm gonna do, ye sugar hai, sugar melt karunga water mein, saffron ke saath. So it's gonna get the color and the sweetness of sugar. While the water is boiling, I'm gonna make base for a berry halwa. So normally, when we halwa, banate, obviously we use ghee. So I'm gonna use ghee. Take a tablespoon of ghee. Melt it nicely. The pan should be nice and hot. In that one, I'm gonna add some cashew nuts. Some almonds. Some raisins. Uh, Sultanas we use kosakte black and let it fry and I'm gonna add star anise seeds. This gives you a nice little spiciness and sweetness to the halwa. Now this as you can see these are getting nice and brown. They are almost ready. Just keep it here. This hot water sugar is already melted and it's nice and boiling now. So I'm just gonna pour this water into couscous and just cover with the flint film. So now the water is with sugar, so it's gonna infuse with couscous and it's gonna get this sweetness and leave it here for 10 minutes. As you can see the steam is there inside, it's gonna start cooking couscous. Now this is our nuts are ready. While that is getting ready, I'm gonna cut some berries Normally, when we halwa, banate hai, to we cook with sugar and everything together. We never think of adding fruits into it. So I thought, let's give a twist to it and I'm gonna add a couple of berries and fresh food to my halwa. Take any fruit. Okay, I'm gonna plums le raun. I'm gonna take some strawberry, blueberry, apricot. Whatever is available in season is fine. Couscous is ready now, as you can see. The pura water is soaked hai and it's nice and grainy. We're just gonna add this couscous into this oil, the ghee with all the nuts and just quickly toss with it. Let it cook on slow flame. While that's getting ready, take all these mixed berries I'm going to take a bowl, put all these fruit and berries together here. Tablespoons of sugar, just sprinkle. I'm going to take a lemon, cut into half and squeeze the lemon into berries. Berry may squeeze kar denge ise. This is a nice fruit salad, toss it together. Now your halwa is ready. I'm gonna take this halwa and just mix it through berries. Mix it 
thoroughly. You don't have to cook your fruit because the heat inside the halwa is going to make the fruit soft and nice. So when you eat it, you can get the fresh fruit taste all at the same time. Kuskus ki jo sweetness hai, wo usme a jayegi. And we squeeze the lemon, so that gives you nice punch to your halwa. So aaye dekhte hai, fish ready hui hai nahi. This is almost cooked. As you can see, the skin, the cloth is dry and nice and brown. Lijiye, fish is ready. As you can see, nice and crispy here. I'm just gonna cut this cloth. Remove this salt. Take the plate. I'm going to pour this vinegar stew, the artichoke and potato stew in a plate. Take this salt crusted fish. Couple of mint and I'm going to take pomegranate seeds. Now let's plate couscous berry halwa. All the berries are nicely infused here. I'm just going to put halwa here. So these are two beautiful dishes that I've cooked today from Morocco. Hope you have enjoyed it. सॉल्ट क्रस्टेड मारकीश सी ब्रीम बनाने के लिए लीजिए एक फिश और उसको बीच में काट दें। उसके बीच में लेमन स्लाइसेस स्टफ करें। एक बोल में दो तीन एग वाइट डालें और रॉक सॉल्ट ऐड करें। फिश को कुक करने के लिए एक पतला सा कॉटन क्लॉथ लें और उसपे रॉक सॉल्ट और अंडे का मिक्सचर डाल दें। फिश को मिक्सचर के फिश को 30 मिनट के लिए अवन में पकाने के लिए डाल दें। जब फिश तैयार हो जाए, उसे अवन से निकाल दें और क्लॉथ को कट करें। एक प्लेट में वेजिटेबल्स टू डालें, उसके ऊपर फिश को प्लेस करें। मिंट लीव्स और पोमोग्रेनेट सीड्स के साथ गार्निश करें और सर्व करें। कुसकुस बेरी हलवा बनाने के लिए एक पैन में पानी डालने घी को मेल्ट करें और उसमें डालें कैशनट्स, आमंड्स, रेजन्स और ब्राउन होने तक फ्राई करें। कुसकुस के बोल में पानी, शुगर और सैफ्रन का मिक्सचर ऐड करें। ऐड करने के बाद कवर करके रख दें। सोक कुसकुस को ड्राई फ्रूट्स के पैन में ऐड करें और स्लो फ्लेम पे पकाने दें। कुसकुस हलवा को बेरीज के बोल में ऐड करके मिक्स करें। एक प्लेट में कुसकुस बेरी हलवा को डाल के मिंट लीव्स के साथ गार्निश करके सर्व करें।